tonight we have a very special celebrity guest coming to our restaurant. And uh, this week he made an announcement about his dietary restrictions and needs and requirements. So we will have to honor his requests, however weird they may be. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nicholas Cage. Yes, yes, Marcel. It is so good to meet you. It is, it is my pleasure, sir. Please, have a seat. All right, great. I know, I read it. We will meet whatever your requirements, so just let us know whatever you want. Mr. Okay, here's the deal. I only eat animals that have dignified sex. <laughs> we have a very special rabbit stew on the menu tonight. I think you would find it very good. Do rabbits have dignified sex? I believe they do. You know what? I'm going to have to take a look. Can I look? Uh, but of course. Great. OK, if we look in here, we see the mademoiselle signifies she's ready by wiggling her hindquarters. Right. And then the, the monsieur, he's getting aroused, and he now mounts her, and he's finished. No, no! That is not how to do that. You have to woo her. You need to woo her, make her feel special, much like my character Ben Gates did with Abigail Chase in the movie National Treasure Book of Secrets. No, this is undignified. Take it away. Of, of course, sir. I am terribly sorry. Perhaps you would like an appetizer of escargot. Do they have dignified sex? I do believe so. I would like to look. As you look in there, you see the monsieur is going to uh, mount his amour. And right. you see the, the penis comes out from under the shell okay. and into his partner. No! No, no! You have to caress her. You have to make it special. You're hard on the outside, but soft on the inside. <laughs> Much like my character Memphis did to Sarah Sway in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. No, this is horrible and undignified. Take it away. <laughs> My apologies, sir. Um, perhaps you would then like to try some fresh baked bread we have this week. This bread would be, hold it. Bread is made from yeast. Yes. I would have to see the yeast make love before I could have the bread. Is that possible, my friend? For you, Mr. Cage. Uh, if you would look into the microscope, you can see <laughs> they, 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 they come together in an asexual budding process. Yes, you find? yes, yes. No! No, you must make a connection with one of the partners there. Otherwise, you end up alone and lonely and tired, much like my character Charlie Kaufman did in Adaptation. And I want nothing to do with that character at all, much less eat anything that has his sexual prowess. <laughs> Sir. What else do you have? Sorry, we, we have we have one dish that is very controversial. Okay. And uh, you may not want to be known to have eaten it. It may be uh, bad for your reputation. <laughs> I was in Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> very well, come with me. Okay. If you would look on. In the tank, we have two adult blue whales. <laughs> the male whale with his six foot long penis yes. comes up below his female partner, caressing her as he goes. And then the copulation ritual begins. Kudos for you, my whale friends! It's really tender lovemaking you are doing, sir and madam! <laughs> That's his native tongue. Oh! But look, I think you're doing a great job, much like my character Chris did to Liz in my new suspenseful action thriller next. Oh, yes, that is dignified. I will have that. Very well. Shall we allow them to finish their act of reproduction? No, just kill them and bring them to me on a plane. They are dignified. They are worthy. Very good. You know what? While we're waiting for that to be fixed, could I watch the rabbits again? But of course. <laughs> You're still doing it wrong! 